Hello and welcome back to Lore Fan Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lore Fan. And today, two parter of Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition, we're going to go inside the Crater Race Ruins. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Nights videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to update on my content and more. So, in the last video, we broke off the alliance between Luskin and the Elk Tribe. Now, we're going to go inside the Crater Race Ruins. First of all, you want to loot this corpse up because later on, you're going to be talking to the slaves in the past. Yeah, we're going to be uh, going back and forth between the present and past. That's why this is a two-part video because we're going to learn some things in the past and we're going to do some stuff in the present. So, first thing we're going to do is go inside the this room here and take everything out. ASAP, of course. Those are the undead you do face in the past. Good news is you're about strong as them. Maybe much, much more stronger like my character is, which is really good. So next part we're going to do is go ahead and talk to this one elf because she's going to help us out big time in order to get us into the, to the uh, past. I did was I changed Linlu to uh, stop attacking the chest until, of course, I ordered her to. Yeah, I should have done that a while ago, but oh well. That was fun racing with Lindley to see who uh, gets the uh, box open first. It was real fun too. But still, point being is we're going to go ahead and get some help. And yeah, you want to talk to this elf here. Also, you want to rest here too because this is the only safe area in the ruins in the present is to rest here. So we're going to rest, go ahead and talk with the elf. And sure, give us some uh, good items to help us out to uh, get into the past. Yeah. This is like time traveling for this uh, video. Well, two parts of it, actually. What? Who? Oh, oh, pardon me. I didn't notice you there. I was rather engrossed in my contemplations of the time stream. It's easy to get lost in a paradoxical currency, if I do say so myself. Well, we have to do a side quest for her. It's not that hard. We'll do that in the next video. However, we have the materials we need to uh, time travel. Also get through these uh, electric uh, doors now. So we're going to do uh, just that. We're going to avoid the noms for now because we're going to mess with them in the uh, past. Yeah. But before we actually go into the past by using the item on the sundial that I have hot barred, we're going to take care of some undead first.
after you have taken care of the undead, it is time to go to the past. Now, th that crystal I hot barred, you have to use it on the sundial. Once you do, you'll be able to go in the past. However, when you go into the past in this area, you will be greeted by one of the creator race foes. Yeah, you'll have to take them out as soon as you arrive in the past. So, you know what? We'll go into the past and just uh, take care of business uh, there. So, let me explain what's going on. First of all, if you forget to loot the amulet at the very beginning, go ahead and do so now because the uh, creator race foes, well, they do have the amulet. Second of all, watch out for traps. Yeah, they're deadly here. They uh, paralyze you. Also, switch out between the amulet like I'm doing because we're going to talk with the friendly NPCs. This way, we'll uh, sabotage the noms in the uh, present. We're in the past, so we get to mess with them. So talk to this NPC. Uh, try persuade. You'll be given a choice. Go with the best choice that you do deal damage with. Hello. Now, a forewarning, you have to talk to these NPCs by the Nalum, so this way you sabotage them. They will not sabotage all Nalums, only the Nalum in the area in the present. Now, this next part will be uh, tough. The Creator Race Shamans are very brutal. Yeah, seriously, very brutal. Also, watch out for traps because they cast some nasty ice spells. Yeah. You want to take them out. Also, they will summon spires too that can poison. Other than that, the other ones are really simple to do. We'll go ahead and uh, clear out this room. Once we do, we'll check out the puzzle that's in the uh, past so we know what to do in the present. Yeah, the shamans are tough. Yeah, poor Linu just bought the farm. Yeah, unfortunately. However, let me explain about this puzzle. Now, in the uh, present, you'll have to deal with colors. We'll uh, solve that. But for now, go ahead and examine each pool because it'll give you a hint what is to uh, come. Yeah. In other words, these puzzles in the past are just setting up. So this way you can try to solve them in the present. Now, there's this one door in the present that has a total of three locks. This video, we're going to open up only one of three today because we're going to spend a lot of time in the uh, past to sabotage it. So this way, when we are in the present, things will definitely uh, go our way. Yeah. You see, I want to make sure everything goes our way in this two-part video so this way you know what to do. And yeah, just uh, loot everything up because they'll be uh, different than the... Uh, present yeah so loot everything in the past and then when you're in the present go ahead and loot that too yeah it's nice to get some uh, loot and you cannot teleport to the temple obviously in the past so if any of your hinged person dies well you need to go to the present in order to revive them and make sure you bring that 400 gold piece because it's uh you're in chapter three now if you like me have a lot of cash on you well guess what your money's not gonna be an issue at all so go ahead and use the uh, st crystal that you got from Nice Elf. And there you have it, everyone. 
We have our uh, hench person back. Yeah. Lin Lu's going to be our uh, test dummy for this video today. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take out the Nom because it's now weak to my slash attacks. Now, just remember what you've done in the past will reflect the present. So we tell the one guy to uh, make sure it's weak to slash attacks, and we uh, did just that. Now it's weak to slash attacks, and we could kill it, which is really nice. So after I loot this chest up, what I'm going to do is just straight up kill these undead. Yeah, they're going to all uh, die. <laughs> Now that is done. So let me explain on how this uh, puzzle works. You need to do is uh, there is a primary color in the center pool. Grab all three uh, gems. Reason being is we're going to actually go ahead and use those. And you need to do is uh, match a combination of the primary colors. You do not need to match up all three. That is the uh, good news. Seriously. That is the uh, good news. Yeah, instead you have to do is uh, match one set. So what I'm going to do is just look around a bit, just get my bearings in, and I will uh, actually will solve the puzzle. This will be the only puzzle I will be solving in the video. Part two will have the others. First of all, grab the gems, put them in a, a nice spot that you'll memorize them, and split the gems up. That's very important. Definitely split them up. Seriously. We have to do is match certain primary colors in the right direction. So what we're gonna do is yellow. Yeah, we got one in yellow, and then the other color we're gonna do, I believe, is blue. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, yellow and blue makes green, everybody. So what we need to do is uh, go ahead and drop off the green ones. You need to do it twice, one in each secondary color pool. So drop this one off. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, organize everything, then drop it off. Yeah, we're just going to split it up. But still, you only need to do this once. So just remember that it's not hard. This one's a simple one compared to the other two that I will uh, show in the next video. Yeah. But for now, since we uh, did that, drop the green one off. That's a good example. You could do the other colors depending on your uh, favorite color. You don't like uh, green. Go ahead and do a combination of purple and uh, orange. What we're gonna do is just leave that alone and we're gonna grab uh, this one. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put the green one in. You're gonna see what's gonna happen when we put the other green one in. We unlock one door part now, so that is one of three locks done and out of the way. So we have actually now solved the puzzle. And if you want to, you could put back the other two uh, gems. I'm just keeping them for uh, souvenirs. They're probably gonna go bye bye by the time we get to uh, chapter four, maybe. If not, well, guess what? They're a nice souvenir. So that puzzle is done. And it's not that hard. This is one of the simple ones. This one was really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead, cause some trouble. And I'm going to try working my way towards uh, getting back to the past. Yeah. We're going to do some serious sabotage. And we'll show you why you do not want to face the unknown. Uh, but for that... Or get ourselves a nice uh, progress update. Now you go check the door. It shows your progress. There are three locks. We have taken one out. So there is a total of uh, two locks we have to deal with. That will be for the next video. This video uh, for from here on out is sabotaging uh, Noms and uh, take care of the foes in the past. Well, most of the past. And I'm going to show you why you cannot 
defeat this gnome now. You see, we have not visited the uh, past part because, number one, it's basically uh, invincible. Yeah, I just figured that out. It is seriously invincible. So go ahead, get out of there, and get yourself back to the past to do some serious sabotage. Yeah, seriously. We're going to go ahead and just sabotage everything in sight. We're going to do that for this uh, video at least. Yeah, we're going to have some fun doing that because, yeah, sabotaging foes is well worth it. And I'm going to be honest, I love these ruins because it was a nice puzzle itself from jumping from the present and past in order to get through them. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, transport to the past. And then I'm going to get myself ready to uh, sabotage more uh, stuff in the past. All right, dear. I'm getting to it. Now we're in the uh, past, so what we're going to do is go ahead and clear out the next room after I grab the loot. Yeah, obviously I want some loot first, then I am going to go ahead and uh, enter this room, clear it out of some lizard folks, because yeah, they definitely deserve to get killed. Well, that take care of those fools. So what we're going to do is decide to get some more uh, loot. Yeah, because we're going to steal some loot in the past like we're doing the present. Okay, that's impossible. Yeah, if I were to switch out my tumble with more of those lock picking, yeah, things would have been better. But oh well, that's ancient history. I'll have to identify that belt after I uh, get the uh, stuff for uh, this uh, part of the uh, chapter. So now after I uh, go ahead and check things out, I want to talk to one of the slaves. Again, same persuasion checks. I'm picking uh, slashing and piercing because my slash weapon is really good. So let's go ahead and uh, sabotage some things. Well met. Now, the gnome we uh, tried to attack in the present is now weakened, thanks to our involvement in the past. So, there's this door. We'll check out the next puzzle. It'll be trapped. So, let me explain. Again, we have to deal with some lizard folks. Yeah, we'll go ahead and clear them out. After uh, that, I'm going to do explain how this uh, puzzle works in greater detail. That'll be for the next video. I'll give everybody the solution. I admit, I had a little bit of issue due to uh, my character facing a certain direction. That'll be for the next video, but for now, we're going to wait for this trap to wear off. Now, if you have a rogue who could, uh, you know, recover traps, go ahead and do so, because that rogue would love these type of traps. So let's go ahead and open the door and kick some serious uh, butt.
Well, poor Lin Lu's been uh, dying in this video. Yeah, it's some of these uh, foes, but you know what? That happens. And let me go ahead and heal myself. While I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up to uh, show everybody how to actually solve the puzzle. Yeah, you see this uh, pixie, she'll uh, go around, hit the gongs in a certain order, and that's the order you have to hit in the uh, present. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to do that remember all that now here's the thing i'm gonna put timestamps in the video so this way everybody uh will uh, know what to do yeah i'm that helpful i'm a nice guy still it's one of those you have to watch the pattern you gotta make sure it's right if you don't get it right you have to do is just redo it again yeah seriously you have to redo it again and you have to definitely remember the uh pattern the uh pass good news is there is a foe that has the uh, poor uh, fairy in a bottle in the present. I'll show that too in the next video. It'll do the solution again, but if you want to uh, write it down, go ahead and do so. I'll put timestamps there. See, it just tells you that that's the solution for you to solve. So I am done. I am about to do is uh, clear my uh, path the uh, other way to the uh, present. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and carve a path. We have to at this point. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, check these rooms out. One of them should be to the sundial. Or at least close to it. Now there is a person we're going to speak with again to sabotage the uh, nom for this part in the present. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of sabotage in this video. And we're going to sabotage things well. Greetings. All the gnomes has been sabotaged, so we're going to go ahead and clear out the next room so we speak with this uh, special NPC to help us out, so let's go ahead and do it. Now, really quick, if you uh, didn't speak with the slaves, go ahead and speak with the special NPC. If you could convince him, he'll give you a ring to help you out. Speak with the other slaves to sabotage the noms better. Who looks like my more? Pass on any of them. You must be careful. I will help you if I can. But if the masters see us speaking, they will cut out my tongue. Now we have spoken with the uh, NPC here. What we're going to do is go ahead and switch the amulets, go back to the present, watch out for traps. Yeah, see, trap right there. And we're going to get Linlu back, and we're going to go ahead and grab one important item. It's a henchman tail item. However, we have to carve a path. Yeah, we have to carve a path to it. So let's go ahead and get Linlu back. There you go. And kill some undead, because we're going to need her to uh, slay the undead. Yeah, we're definitely going to need her.
first, go ahead and grab this tome. You're going to need it to uh, mix some spells up and ingredients and cast a proper spell. Second, what we're going to do is go in the next room. We have to clear it out. There is a group of undead guarding it because it has Shaween's uh, henchman tail item. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear foes out first. In the name of Sammy Well, we are officially undead slayers for this video. Oh yeah, that was fun. Watch out for traps too. Especially this uh, paralyzed one. Come on, Linlu, heal me up. And let me see if she does. You know, she used a cure critical wounds. Oh well, she must use up her heal. Still, watch out for traps. Yeah, I've been taking them. And decide I'll take them this time. Linlu has died enough. Well, she's going to die one more time at least. So anyways, once that trap is uh, done, go ahead and uh, check things out. I believe the sarcophagus does have the item we need. This one just uh, random loot. Yeah, sometimes random loot is good because you might get something you do need. You may never know. I mean, just check out every chest you uh, see in the game. I do mean every single one. And let's go ahead and loot this up. And let's see. Oh, wow, that is nice. That's real nice. Let's check this one out. And there you go. Now we officially got five of six henchmen tail items. We need one more, but that's towards the third words of power. And that one is the uh, toughest one yet. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the past because there is one more clue we're going to get. That's for another uh, puzzle. That'll be for the next video. We'll teleport back. Now be careful. This one's tough because there's a nice choke point against us. And the shamans are very uh, deadly. I was forced to fight the other ones. And I got lucky. You'll see. Come prepared. Buff up like crazy. And if you need to, just run back. I'll return after the battle is uh, done and uh, over with.
that confusion spell yeah that was rough definitely lost Lindley on that go ahead and spec that that gives you a clue of what's to come I'll uh, solve that in the next video as for this yeah pick up the note if you want to or at least the uh, glance at it uh, again I'll put time sense in the video for to those who want to pick it up so I'll just suggest it so we're gonna go ahead and explore some more there is one more area we'll explore but first thing we have to do obviously is go ahead and get back Lin Lu. yeah we're gonna definitely need her uh, back oh yeah she's been suffering a lot in this uh, video most of it's my uh, fault, but oh well. We'll uh, get her back. There you uh, go. So what I am going to do really uh, quick is uh, get to the other side. And uh, just go ahead and set ourselves up for the uh, next video. Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, do that. First I have to get in the past though to uh, really uh, do that. So we'll go in the past. There is one more battle we're going to do. Because we're going to go uh, towards the uh, past version where we met the uh, elf earlier. Because we're going to start that in the uh, next video. Yeah, there was a lot to do for this. If I were to combine both videos, it would have been over an hour. But instead, I decided to do two parts. One part, we mess with the past. The next part, which is the next video, we're going to mess with the present. But before we do that, we're going to kill one more foe and he's very easy to uh, slay. Time to die! Victory will be ours! Here's a quick recap. We visit the Elf Lady. She gave us powers to go back into the past. We mess with some of the Nolums. We uh, actually killed one, solved one puzzle, got a preview of the other two puzzles, and Shawnween's Tell Item for Chapter 3 we did get. In the next video, we're going to finish the Creator Ruins present and rest of the past, and we're also going to get the second Words of Power and face a tough boss. Well, this is it for my Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Chapter 3 Create Race Ruins Part 1 video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.